Welcome to the May 15, 2018 uh, meeting of the Planning and Zoning Commission. We will have uh, office, um, Commissioners Rice and Jenkins will lead us in the invocation and the pledge. Please stand. Pray with me. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for such a beautiful day. Lord, we ask that you bless our city, bless us, bless all that are involved. Keep your hand upon us. Bless our United States of America. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. If there are no corrections to the minutes, the chair entertains a motion for approval. Motion for approval. Second. second. A motion and second. Did you get that? Okay. One second. Two seconds. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Same sign. Thank you. Since we do not have a consent agenda tonight, we'll go straight to our regular agenda, at which point I need to tell you how we will conduct our meeting. The items on the consent, rather, excuse me, the purpose of this meeting is to hear all pertinent testimony of those in support of and in opposition to the applications before the board. Tonight is the first of two public hearings required to approve a change in zoning. The board also considers plats. The procedure for public hearing items to be followed tonight will be, the public hearing will be opened and testimony will be heard in the following order. Number one, the applicant. Number two, the staff. And number three, the general public, those in support and in opposition of the request. If you're part of a large group with a common interest, we ask that you appoint a spokesperson. When addressing the board, please begin by stating your name and address and try to limit your comments to five minutes. When all sides have spoken, the public hearing on the matter will be closed and no further public discussion will be entertained. After each public hearing is closed, the board will vote on the request. Zoning requests and the Planning and Zoning Commission's recommendation will go forward to the second public hearing, which will be conducted by the City Council on June 14, 2018. We have uh, regular agenda item A, which I'll ask Angela to introduce for us. Thank you. Uh, this is a public hearing will be held to consider application PD 1805 filed by First Choice Affordable Homes to rezone approximately 0.582 acres of lots 1B-1 and 1E block to key bunt subdivision from single family five to planned development single family detached located on East Berkeley Street west of Avenue A. Thank you, Angela. Would the applicant like to come and to the microphone and speak on behalf of their agenda item? This is Mike Alston. Yes, I am Mike Alston with First Choice. I live at 1310 Montclair. This is going to be what we're calling phase four of the development we started a year or so ago over on Berkeley. The first phase is, was done successfully and sold out. The second phase, we've completed essentially four of the homes we were gonna build, two of which remain unsold, we're hopeful. And uh, we're starting the third phase around the corner, which will eventually be five. This phase includes across the street on Berkeley where we bought the old used chapel church and the lot next to it. And we're gonna turn that into those lots right there and eventually put some more homes up. Thank you, Mr. Alston. Anyone have any questions of the applicant? Thank you, sir. Good, thank you. Staff? Thank you. Um, as the applicant had stated, he's rezoning um, from SF5 to plan development to allow for uh, detached uh, single family homes. Uh, he is the same developer that developed um, across the street um, and south of him, uh, south of this property. Uh, he is proposing to construct five residential lots. Um, these lots will have a minimum lot size of 4,200 square feet, maximum height of two stories, uh, minimum house size of 800 square feet, um, with a front property, a front setback of 20 feet, rear setback of 10 feet, and then side setbacks of five feet. Uh, this is all consistent with his uh, development to the south of him. Um, in single family five zoning district, which is what this uh, zoning is 
currently now, um, the minim minimum is 6,000 square feet um, with setbacks of 25 feet in the front, 10 on the rear, and then six on the sides. Um, staff does recommend approval of this request. I would be happy to answer any questions at this time. Commissioners, any questions of staff? Hearing none, we will open the meeting to the general public for those that want to speak in support of or in opposition to this agenda item. Does anyone wish to speak? Seeing none, the public hearing is closed. Any additional comments or questions? The chair entertains a motion. Make a motion that we approve. Second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed, same sign. The motion carries. Staff update. Uh, thank you. All items uh, that were presented to council last week were improved, and that includes the historic landmark designation for the petroleum building. Okay. And then item B on the staff update. Um, I just wanted uh, to update y'all, Planning and Zoning Commission, uh, the workshop that we had um, asked y'all about uh, is scheduled for June 12th, 2018. That is a Tuesday. Um, our consultants, Freese and Nichols, will be here to do a presentation on what we've, what we've, they've done so far um, on the UDC and to take feedback from uh, Planning and Zoning Commission uh, along with the citizens. So please welcome, um, please invite anybody, fa friends, family, anybody, and yes, it will be here, Mr. Carpenter. What about? 5.30. Okay, thank you. Any questions? Any citizen comments? Hearing none, this meeting is adjourned.